the Euroleague champions, the current Euroleague champions, Anadolu Efes, will not be in the Final Four to defend their crown. Okay. Um, they will make the playoffs, e- even though right now, even making the playoffs doesn't sound so convincing. They had their last game in Kazan where they actually lost Vasa Mitsic. They were playing without Vasa and without Kronoslav Simon, and you could see that when there's only Shane Larkin, there's not that much power for them to win games against teams like Kazan. Uh, so I just see some players getting old. Um, a rebuild is really needed. Um, Ataman is getting crazy. Ataman is getting crazy. And you can actually see how difficult it is for a newcomer to get into this squad and, and, mm. and to show himself. Like Elijah Bryan, when he first signed with Alondola FS, you thought it's a good signing. He's a really good player, actually. I could see him being one of the leaders on many uh, mm. ma- many EuroLeague teams. In Anadolu FS, when everybody's playing, Vasa, Kruno, Larkin, Elijah Bryan is... He looks like a misfit, actually, even though he's a great basketball player. So in my eyes, after this season, they have to do the rebuild with Ataman or without Ataman. I don't know, but they have to rebuild the squad. They have to sign new new players in center position. Some guys are just getting old, and they are veterans, and they're not as good as they have been in the previous years. And um, I was always thinking when they started the season slow mm. that... Soon they're gonna get, they're gonna start winning games. Soon they're gonna get better. Now let's say they ha- they have nine wins, nine losses, but in some games they just won because of individual quality, like against Cervantes Vesda. Vesda was the better team. Mm-hmm. They should have won the game. Kalinic didn't make his free throws in the end. Mitic did. Another life has got the victory, but it's already New Year. It's already January, and I don't see. Too many improvements, actually. I don't see that feeling that they will be that better to win the Euroleague. Yeah. It seems like they're not hungry enough. They're not happy as they were before together. And as I said, uh, if Ataman is getting crazy, it's it's not good for the team. Yeah, like training on Christmas. Yeah, for example. So, I, I mean, I like your prediction. Um, although I can see them making the Final Four because at the moment... Uh, I think that in the end, I see only two teams way better than FS. It's Barcelona and Real Madrid. Other three, other teams, they are struggling as well, and a lot of depends on if FS will get a home court advantage. Uh, it's not that; it doesn't seem that it be it will be that difficult. Okay, they're four wins away of uh, Olympiacos. Mm, I'm not so sure about five the home wins court away advantage, from to be uh, three wins away from Zenit. So, I don't know. I'm not so sure about the home court advantage. And actually, if they would face Olympiacos and the Greeks will have the home court, uh, I would go for Olympiacos right mm-hmm. now. You you see players also getting injured more often than last year in Anadolu Efes. When yeah, they, when it they also w- goes uh, along with their age. Yeah. So... I think that's a good I, prediction. I, I think right now, if 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 they would face in the playoffs Barca, Real Madrid, Olympiacos, I would go for these three, and even if Anadolu Efes would go against Unix Kazan and Milan, and even Cska, they could face Cska. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't bet on Anadolu Efes. The only way, uh, the only team I would see them beating right now from the top eight in in a series, I would say Zenit. So, probably you're just, right. Just my prediction. And Milan, you never know what kind of Milan. Yeah, you, you will never get in know. The playoffs. Of course, they also have some problems with injuries. Uh, but um, yeah, my prediction for this year is that Anadolu Efes will not be there in in the final four. That's pretty bold prediction.